morning, afternoon, evening people, whatever time it is, whenever you're tuning in. So today, it's the 11th of December, Christmas is coming up. Some people prefer to have an alternative kind of meat at Christmas instead of turkey. So to that end, I'm going to show you how to roast the perfect duck. So if you've subscribed to the channel, you know that all my videos are aimed at a bit of self-reliance and a bit of self-sufficiency. Freshly cooked meals at home, baking bread from scratch, growing fruit and vegetables, keeping bees, producing honey, brewing beer, cider, meads and ales. So if that's kind of thing interests you, then uh, maybe hit that subscribe button. So that and then this duck was shot locally. This was shot on Friday, plucked on Saturday, today's Monday. Got a bit of a deal going with the duck guys. They sort me out with ducks, I give them honey. Got the same thing going with a bit of venison. It's also deer season right now, so some venison recipes will be coming soon. So the first thing we're going to do then is take our duck, get it in the sink, give it a good wash. So for this recipe we need a zest of a small orange. It's only a small duck, so just a small orange. So we just then we're going to take a sharp knife, we're going to go ahead and score our duck. Just cut through the skin, not into the meat. This is only a small duck. I am going to let you know about adjusting cooking times when we come to the cooking process. Now the duck's been scored, what we're going to do is just glaze the duck with honey. Now this is my own honey from my bees. What this is going to do is going to add to the flavour, also it's going to give the seasoning something to stick to. Nice coat of honey. Now we're going to season our duck. Sea salt. Rub it in. Bit of garlic, pepper, garlic salt and pepper. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our orange zest and we are going to rub this orange zest into the skin and the scoring on this duck. Make sure you get both sides. I'm going to take the remainder of our orange, I'm going to pop that inside the cast of the duck. If you do like your duck really garlicky, you can pop a couple of cloves of garlic in there as well. And cover your duck, a bit of foil, and pop that in the fridge now for about two hours, leave that to marinade. Okay, that's in the fridge, so let's fast forward two hours. That was quick. So as we marinate now for two hours, so now we're gonna uh, move on to roasting this duck. Now we're gonna just pop our duck into a roasting tray on a wire rack, breast side up. What the wire rack's going to do is that's going to allow the duck fat to be collected at the bottom and we'll be saving that using it for future recipes. What we'll do is cover that bit of tin foil and we'll leave that sitting at room temperature for about 30 minutes. We want it to be at roughly room temperature when we start roasting it. In the meantime, we're going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, which is somewhere around the 400 degrees Fahrenheit mark. Once the oven is preheated, we'll put that in the oven. for 30 minutes, keeping the tin foil on. Okay, the duck's been in the oven for 30 minutes now. So 
it's working away nicely. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this dark fat and we're just going to baste our duck. Once we baste our duck, we're going to be able to pop our duck back in the oven. But the length of time we roast our duck now, the second time, is going to depend on the weight of the duck. You're going to do 30 minutes per kilo. If I weigh this duck, this duck was just under one kilo. For in the US, 2.2 pounds. So 30 minutes per two pounds. So this duck's going back in the oven now for 30 minutes. This time, uncovered, we're going to crisp that skin up nicely. We are also going to baste again halfway through. We do check the duck. If the skin looks like it's getting too crispy or getting burnt, you can cover it over with tin foil again. So I'm going to go back in the oven now, 30 more minutes. So we're about halfway through the cooking time now. perfectly roasted duck. So I'm going to serve that now with roast potatoes, roasted squash, roasted carrots and gravy. So if you enjoyed that video, give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more cooking videos, hit subscribe. Merry Christmas, thanks for watching, have a good day.